found that matter comes in atoms and that currents come in electrons. Now what about light? Are there light particles? Well, I'm going to show you an experiment which proves that there are. Now you remember that we didn't see the effect of electrons till we had very weak currents. Nor did we see the effect of atoms until we had small amounts of matter. And we're going to have to use very weak light in order to see the effect of the light particles. Now, how do we study light? We can use a photoelectric cell. Here is one. It consists of a metal plate in an evacuated envelope. And when light strikes this plate here, electrons are emitted, and they're collected by this little electrode in here. And the amount of current is proportional to the amount of light striking the tube. And if you have very dim light, you don't get much current.
light comes in particles. Well, not necessarily, because remember how this works. Light comes in, and it just makes electrons come out of the first plate, and they're amplified in here. And then you see it on the scope. And so naturally you see pulses. We know that electrons are particles. We have to do some other kind of experiment to prove our point. Now, there's another effect of photomultipliers that I want to show you, and that is that even when I exclude all the light by covering it with a black cloth, you still see some pulses, not as many. And this background is an effect that is common to every kind of physics experiment. Fortunately, we can get rid of most of it by cooling the photomultiplier. And I'm going to do this with dry ice and alcohol.